Hey everyone, hope you've had a wonderful week. A good Erev Shabbat to everybody. The beginning of Parsha Shemini opens. It's the eighth day of the inauguration of the Mishkan. Moshe calls Aaron and his sons to come to the Mishkan to do the Avodah, to do the service that is meant for this day. This is the first day that the Kohanim are going to get to work. And who else is called to work? The Pasuk ends, Ula Ziknei Yisrael. Moshe also called the Ziknei Yisrael, the elders of the Jewish people, to come to this moment. If you continue reading the parsha, you, you don't actually see the Ziknei Yisrael getting any sort of command by Moshe. Moshe does tell Aaron what to do. He tells Aaron and his sons what they're supposed to do on this momentous day, the first day the Kohanim go to work. But the Zignei Israel don't seem to have a role. So why are they there? Why does Moshe insist on their presence? Why does he summon them to the Mishkan? There's a Midrash that tries to, I think, get at this point. Quoting Rabbi Akiva. I'm a Rabbi Akiva. Nim shalu Yisrael of. Rabbi Akiva compares the Jewish people to a bird. Maha'of hazeh eno poreach beloch I'm just like a bird. Cannot fly without wings. Kach Yisrael ein yecholim la'asot avar chutz mizigneim. So to the Jewish people cannot do anything without their elders. And I think what Rabbi Akiva is trying to get at is that when we have momentous occasions in our lives, like the inauguration of the Mishkan, we want the elder generation there. There is something very special I think we can relate to. When we, go have, when we have a simcha in our lives personally, it's really, it's really special when parents and grandparents and great-grandparents can show up. It's because we want to have the elder generation there to celebrate with us these moments. We want them to give their input, to, to, to impart to us their wisdom so that we can take what they have built and given to us, the foundation they have laid for our lives, individually and as a community, and take it to the next level, like the bird in Rabbi Akiva's example. The bird can't fly without its wings. It can exist, but it can't fly. So to the Jewish people, we can exist. But we fly, we're able to soar to new heights when we have our Ziknehem there, when we have the previous generations with us, guiding us, celebrating with us, and giving us strength. May we all be able to appreciate in our lives the elders, the previous generations that have set us up for success in our lives individually and those the elders of our community who have set us up on a communal level for great success now and in the future. Shabbat shalom, everybody.